thing and everybody does the wrong thing and you try to go out there and live holy and everybody's living ugly and you're like, what in the world is going on? The world is not very good at producing good. And if all you have to go on is what your experience tells you and all you have to go on is what the testimony of the world tells you and all you have to go on is what your friends tell you, then you've got a fundamental problem in producing life in your life. You don't have any. You don't have anything good to say. So guess what? All you're going to say is bad stuff. Because if we were to go down and look in the inventory of the warehouse of your heart and look at the boxes that are on the shelf, all you would see is failure. All you would see is disappointment. All you would see is hatred and despise and evil. If you look down deep in there, Jeremiah said it clearly in chapter 17, the heart is evil. <laughs> so we wonder why all we speak is negative when we have to go back and check the fuel that's in our gas tank. Were you putting in, were you putting in 87 octane? Then all you're going to get is 87 performance out. <laughs> the heart has to have the word in it so that the mouth can go down into the inventory of the heart and say, I feel sick. Go down to the inventory of the heart and find healing and release that thing. There's no healing. Uh-oh. Problem. So what do you do? The same thing you would do if you went home and you like um, Kraft Hickory smoked barbecue sauce. You would go to the say you would go to the Kraft Hickory barbecue store and you would buy all the Kraft Hickory barbecue sauce you can find and you would stock your shelves with it and you would get rid of the old mayonnaise and you would get rid of the old Cracker Jacks and the big box of the Frosted Flakes and you would clear it out and you would say, ah, now I have all the Kraft Hickory smoked barbecue sauce I can find. <laughs> And you would monitor the Kraft Hickory barbecue sauce, wouldn't you? You would find out when it goes on sale. And you would go buy it, wouldn't you? And someone would say, hey, there's Hickory Kraft barbecue sauce. Whoa, you would go down to Winn-Dixie and you would say, how much do you have? You can have all of it. Great, I'll take it. <laughs> and if you had a choice in Winn-Dixie and it says, uh, Charmin tissue or Kraft Hickory barbecue sauce, guess what I'm going to buy? I'm going to put... The, the, the Charmin down, and I'm going to grab the Kraft Hickory barbecue sauce because I know for me that's life. When I go and I go fire up my grill, and I will get very mad if I got ribs in one hand and no Kraft Hickory barbecue sauce. <laughs> How do you get the word in your heart? You consume it like it is the greatest thing ever. Amen. You fill your heart with the word of God. You begin to put the word of God in your mouth. You look at this like a hamburger, not a book. Yeah. This is like, it's like dancing chocolate in front of you. You look at this thing and go, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. You don't want yours? I'll take yours too. Eat it, eat it, eat it. And you take it in any form you can get. You'll take it in music. You'll take it in, the, in preaching. You'll be at church every time the doors open. Why? Because i got to get filled with the word. I need to make sure that when the pressures of this life rise up, I've got a, a warehouse of how to respond in it. Amen. You want to speak it out? It's got to be put in. Amen. Summer should be fun. A time to spend with family, connecting with friends, and enjoying some fun in the sun. Summer is also a good time to connect with God. Hello, my name is Pastor Charlie Campbell, and this is my wife, Pastor Marissa. We pastor the Bridge Church of Jacksonville. We'd love to see you this summer as we experience a summer full of hope, encouragement, and the presence of the Lord. There's nothing like taking the opportunity to present yourself before the Lord and watch Him move powerfully in your life. All summer long, we're digging into this concept of encouragement, and we want to see you. So make your plans. Check out our website. Make sure that you get to the house of God this summer. We look forward to seeing you this summer. Join us at the Bridge Church this summer for all the encouragement you need.